welcome to the Annabelle Report. I'm Bethany Simmons. We had a great kickoff to Awanas this week, and the middle school and high schoolers start tonight. Fall is right around the corner, and with that comes some exciting events. Let's get right to it. Hi, I'm Megan Silver with Hope in the Light Ministry, and we're missionaries to Haiti. We run a school in the small Haitian village of Bokan, and even though there's been a lot of unrest and even violence in Haiti in recent months, our school has been able to remain open with donations from the United States of America and specifically Annaville Baptist. I'm so thankful for your support over the last couple of years. So if you would like to contribute, you just come to our bulletin board in the main hallway and there are dollar amounts ranging from $1 to many dollars so that every single person in our church can be involved in this ministry, even our little ones. And you take down the envelope for the amount you would like to give, make checks payable to Hope in the Light Ministry, which is on the front of the envelope if you need that information again, tuck the money inside and drop the envelope either in the offering plate or turn it in at the main office. With these dollars, we are able to feed our children, give them uniforms, and educate them for the upcoming school year. Thank you so much for your help, support, and especially your prayers. Hey, this is Charles Fox, and I'm here to tell you about an exciting men's ministry event coming up. October 28th, nine to noon, the men's ministry will hold an event at Paintball Fix. Cost is $12 to play and eat, or it's $5 to eat in fellowship. Sign up sheet in the main hallway at the men's table. If you're under 18, you must be accompanied by your father or by a male guardian. Any questions, contact the church office or me, Charles Fox. It's gonna be a great event and hope to see you there. Hi, this is Justin Rock, the Iwana Commander here at Anvil Baptist Church. We are so excited to have a great start out to the Iwana year. We want to remind you to please stop by and pick up one of our uh, calendars so you know what theme nights are going on throughout the year. We have a lot of really cool stuff planned and we don't want you to miss out. Also, we would like to see if anybody has an interest in being a game commander. We are still looking for a game commander, someone that is really energetic and you have leftover energy from work. Maybe you want to come in and expel some of that energy and have fun with the kids. And as a reminder, on Sunday nights at 4 o'clock, we have our middle school and our high schoolers meeting. We start with a few snacks, then we have some fun, some fellowship, and then we dive deep into the Bible, and we have lots of, lots of really cool discussions. So we're excited for this year. We hope you guys get a chance to come out and have fun, and we'll see you soon. Children's Christmas play practice is starting tonight at 6 p.m. in the youth room. It is for ages kindergarten through fifth grade, and they will be practicing for the Christmas festival and play this December. As you can see, we have a lot of exciting things coming up, and it all starts today. Just a reminder that tonight we will be having a one is at 4 p.m. for the 6th through 12th graders. The children will be meeting at 6 p.m. in the youth room for Christmas play practice. We will also be having evening service at 6 p.m. in the worship center. And then on Monday, join us for a special praise and prayer service at 6 p.m. here in the worship center. It's a special time that you don't want to miss. And then Young at Heart will be this Tuesday from 12 to 3 p.m. in the gym. Come join us for a fun-filled afternoon of table games, fellowship, and lunch is provided. And on Wednesday, we will have adult Bible study at 6.30 p.m. in the Worship Center and Awanas at 6.20 in the gym. This week's theme is school spirit, so come dress to represent. And then on Thursday night, Celebrate Recovery will be meeting at 6.30 p.m. in the gym. All right, that's a wrap for the end of our report. Thanks for watching. As always, let's be sure to go out to love God and love others. See you next time.